Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. I want to talk to you today about filtering keywords in Adobe Lightroom. I am in the library view here, the library module, and I've got the library filter um, menu up here. And if that is not showing on your version of Lightroom at the moment, you can press the uh, backslash key. And let's see if I can get this to function. Backslash key will make that go away. Backslash key again will make it come back again. So in here, um, I've got uh, filter. I can filter on text, attribute, metadata, or none. Let's just take a look at what some of these are. Attributes would be things like flags, or rating stars, or uh, color labels. And we've got kinds here. For example. Um, uh, virtual copies or master photos or videos and then we can also search on metadata and let's close attribute for the moment and we can search on metadata and um, the default here is to have keyword camera lens label you can change any of these for example if you don't want to be able to search on camera and instead you want to look at something else we can pick any one of these other options here to have in this column so we're going to come back to that in a moment. Uh, text, we can search. So let's close metadata. And text brings up this when, um, uh, screen right here uh, where we can pick what category we want this text to be in, any searchable field, or we can search for a file name or a copy name, etc. cetera. Uh, I've got it set on keywords at the moment, which we're going to do a search on. And then we can specify whether we want this to we're going to type in something here let me close that because I actually don't want that one and whether we want it to contain it or contain if we have more than one word contain all or contain words etc does not contain if you want to uh, have something that um, I want to see everything that, that is not uh, from this group or whatever. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is um, my dog's name. Um, my dog is no longer with us, but his name was Tigger. So let's find everything that has Tigger. And so now I have just typed that. And if we take a look down here in the uh, film strip, just above the film strip in this folder, we can see there are 689 photographs containing take uh, they contain Tigger the, t the keyword Tigger and uh, by the way I have 143,000 photographs in here so you can see it was pretty quick to select those and here they are all of my photographs that contain that are of Tigger so I also have a bunch of photographs of uh, I live in uh, near Asheville North Carolina where the Biltmore estate is so um, I have a bunch of photographs of the Biltmore estate and so we look down here and I've got 168 of Biltmore. Let's see how many I've got of Tigger and Biltmore. So, and right now I've got contains all, which means it's got to be both Tigger and Biltmore. So these are all the photographs I have of Tigger in the Biltmore estate. So here he is looking regal up the top of some stairs. And now I can change this from contains all to just contain. And that will change from uh, ones that are both Tigger and the Biltmore Estate, in other words, Tigger in the Biltmore Estate, to either Tigger or the Biltmore Estate. So this is all Biltmore photographs and all Tigger photographs combined. So a fair amount of flexibility there about uh, exactly what you can search for, but there's actually even more flexibility in the smart collections. So if I negate that, and we have now everything, and I'm going to create a new smart collection uh, with the plus sign over here on collections, and I'm going to create a smart collection. And you can see I have uh, a couple of things I've already typed in here. Let's just get, uh, well, we'll just work through this. So we're going to call this, um, let's see, built more without water. So we've got keyword contains built more and keyword does not contain water. 
let's add another category. I'm going to get, click the plus sign here and change this to uh, keyword. Where are the keywords? Eeny, meeny. Here we go. Keywords. Um, and let's have it contain Tigger. So I want to see all the photographs of Tigger in the Biltmore Estate where there isn't any water. Okay. So we're going to modify this to say... Tigger in Biltmore without water. So click Create. And here we go. Here are all the photographs of Tigger in the Biltmore Estate where there's no water. And so you can see this phenomenal flexibility in this with the uh, Smart Collection. The biggest difference between that and the, uh, the library filter is the, the ability to uh, have both includes and excludes in the uh, Smart Collections. If I right click on this and um, edit, we can come back here and say, we'll change this to contains water. And change that to with water. So now we're going to look for everything that's in the Biltmore State with Tigger and water. So there we go, just those two. So enormous amount of flexibility, uh, some flexibility in the keyword, in the library filter, enormous flexibility in creating uh, smart collections. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.